one of the new <clears throat> challenges to governance everywhere is the emergence of social networks and social media. Uh, in China, uh, the enormous explosion of Sina Weibo, which is which, uh, the China web, a uh, microblogging, uh, has been enormously important in bringing a kind of accountability on a systemic level to the Communist Party. The Communist Party in China's legitimacy is not based on elections, it's based on performance. Sina Weibo is an enormous complaint box. Uh, tainted milk, corrupt officials, uh, uh, high-speed rail trains that go off the tracks. It creates a pressure onto the party to respond to the citizens' <coughs> complaints in order to maintain its legitimacy. It can't ignore them, it can't spin it, it's there, it's out of the box, they have to deal with it. So in China, social media actually brings more accountability to the system. I don't know that it brings more consensus. Consensus formation is in the party, but it certainly brings more accountability, which is a, a part of China lightening up and moving forward. That's very important. In the, in, in, as a general matter, though, social media, uh, as we've seen in Tahrir Square, is the best example. It can mobilize flash mobs into Tahrir Square, people who are angry, people who want change. But it, networks are unable, because they lack a narrative by definition, uh, to form consensus and to govern through networks. So um, uh, uh, one of the members of one of our groups, uh, Jack uh, Dorsey, is the founder of Twitter, says that what is social media? Social media is utility shaped by its users. So in the instance of Tiger Square, people were angry at Mubarak and they wanted some freedom and get rid of the autocrat and they did it. But they lacked a common narrative which the Islamists had. So the Facebook kids uh, brought down the regime, but the narrative that replaced it was the Islamists, not the Facebook children. So there's a limited power, a very, the social networks are very powerful, but their power is limited in the very aspects that are important to democracy, which is deliberation, consensus formation, and long-term implementation of policy.